Hey everybody, Curtis here with another pedal demo for you. This one is from El Musico Loco in Spain, uh, the El Boludo. I'm going to use my Fender Custom Shop Esquire with a Lawler Specialty in the bridge. Uh, all lava cable um, into my Swart AST-112 combo amplifier, mic'd with a Sennheiser E906. And here is my clean tone. <laughs> El Beludo. an incredibly beautiful overdrive pedal um, inside and out. It's a beautiful uh, polished etched enclosure and uh, a work of art. And um, so uh, very simply, this pedal has three knobs on it. And as it is made in Spain, um, it is labeled in Spanish, uh, this particular model from El Musico Loco. And um, uh, so I'm going to do my best to pronounce these and explain what they do. Um, not learning Spanish in school, learning French. Uh, this might be a little bit um, fun for those of you that actually know how to say this. So this is the Kana, and it is like a pre-gain knob. In the middle, we have the Huevos, and that is a gain knob. And then over here, we have a master volume uh, G-Fi, or um, J-E-F-E, -E, as it's uh, spelt. And um, so I'm going to let you listen again, and then I'm going to play with the knobs a little bit and uh, show you um, how they interact and what they do. And uh, so here, once again, here's clean tone. So now I'm going to uh, dial back the gain and uh, dial back the pre-gain, and I'm gonna and uh, just leave them all at noon. And I'm gonna show you uh, how this pedal uh, retains guitar and amp tone um, even when it's on um, in a mild setting. So here we go. Here's uh, clean. <laughs> So it retains the character and sound of my amp um, really well. And um, I will show you now a little bit. I'm going to crank up the volume and just let you hear uh, how this pedal um, acts in a boost uh, situation. And um, so here we go again. <laughs> Let's do that again. So 
as you can see, um, it has a lot of volume on tap. And um, with the pre-gain and gain knobs set at noon, um, they're kind of a little bit mild. And, uh, but it still adds some uh, sort of girth and character to the tone. So it's great as a boost. And um, now I want to, uh, I'm going to move this back to 12 noon. And I'm going to uh, turn up the Kana knob, the pre-gain knob, and let you, uh, actually we'll leave it here. We'll turn it on and then I will uh, turn that up as I play. <laughs> So it adds uh, a really kind of a nice, uh, almost a grit, and uh, distorts the signal just just nicely there. Um, but um, now I'm gonna actually I'm gonna crank the gain knob um, over here a little bit, and uh, let you hear what we got. <laughs> the El Boludo from El Musico Loco. Um, it is a really great sounding pedal. Um, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm aware that a lot of times that a pedal is silver and has three knobs in a beautiful enclosure like this, that a lot of people automatically think it is a clon or a clon clone or a clon like pedal. Um, while I think this um, pedal has a lot of the mojo that the clon does, it is a different pedal. And, um, and so I'm going to do a comparison demo for those that think all silver boxes with three knobs um, are clones. And um, I'm going to compare them in another demo, so uh, be sure to watch that when it's up. And, uh, but thank you so much for watching this. I think there is a lot more in this pedal um, than is in a uh, regular clone Centaur. Uh, but I'll compare them. Um, thank you so much for watching. Like if you like. Dislike if you have to. Um, subscribe if you can. But either way, thanks for watching and have a great day.